What's up, everybody? This is DDS. Today, back again. Got a new synth to talk about with you all. It's from Native Instruments. It's called Super 8, as you see on the screen. Now, I've had it for a few days, played around with it, had some great sounds in it, a lot of good pads, leads, you know, all that wonderful stuff, even basses in there. So, this is pretty much what it looks like. It says modern take on vintage poly synth sound, sounds in the fun eight voice instrument. 350 presets that spark inspiration fast, easy to use, inspiring interface that drives creative experimentation. And I will say that that's true because I generally don't try to mess with sounds. I mean, I do sometimes, but it's not really something I do on a regular basis. But when I loaded up Super 8, I decided to play around with this sound just to see what I could tweak. And I really had a lot of fun doing that. So I've enjoyed it so far. And in this video, I'm pretty much just going to show you guys what it looked like, go through some of the presets, may mess around with a few of them so you can see what you can do. And I may or I may not make a beat with it. I'm not really sure yet. But my personal take on it is as the retro sounds, but it can, well, it's funny, it's right here, basically what I was about to say, but it can fit in today's music. I've made a few beats using it and um, it didn't make the beat sound old. It just gave it a new spark of inspiration for me. So... I'm going to go ahead and jump into that in a second. I'm going to read over this real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I may make a beat, but for the most part, I will be um, going through some of the presets, maybe tweaking a few of them. I want to give a shout out to Mick Benjamins and Native Instruments for allowing me to get my hands on this. If you guys are interested in checking it out, there is an affiliate link in the description below. Get a small percentage of the sale. So I appreciate everybody that you know supports by doing like using my links i appreciate you guys so let me go ahead and read this over real quick retro inspiration from modern tracks at the classic warm rich tones of vintage synths to your contemporary productions super 8 gives you a fun easy way to bring the past into your present dial up present presets excuse me ranging from basses leads to pads and special effects tweak your tones all you want with a simple modern interface that allows you to keep in that allows that allows you to keep you in the instrument sweet spot excuse me for that um so yeah you know it says designed for tweaking you can tweak it with the keyboard machine whichever um i'm not sure how i'm gonna tweak it maybe just using a computer just so i can show you guys since i'm not since, since i don't have my camera set up excuse me i don't know why i'm talking crazy right now but let's go ahead and get started so i'm about to go ahead and open up machine well, let me see if i need to tell you guys any of this stuff right here not a big download size so that's good let me go ahead and open up machine all right so here's machine as you see super 8 loaded up here and i have all the presets over here so this is a lot to go through so i may just run through a few of them let you guys hear some of it and then favorite some and then i'll probably go ahead and jump in and maybe make a beat i'm not 100 percent sure yet but we'll see <laughs> Okay, like I like this sound. I think it'd be cool for a bass. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. I didn't mean to open it like that. And I'll just show y'all what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um just mess around. Just to give you guys like a little pattern. It's 
so yeah, I was just having fun messing around with the bass. Um, I actually enjoyed that one. I kind of want to save it, but I'll get back to that at another time. Actually, do I want to save it real quick? I don't know. But as you see, this is a reactor player library, not a contact library. So I believe they have a reactor player where you guys would be able to use it for free. Yep, runs in the free reactor player. So if you guys don't already own a reactor and you purchase this, you'll be able to go get the free reactor player and you'll be able to mess around with it that way. Let me go back over here. So I really like that bass. I'll probably end up messing around with it myself later on. See what something like this sound like. Funny thing is, I don't really mess with sounds all the time like that, but <laughs> see what else is in here. I can hear that being something like in the score. I don't necessarily hear me using that in the beat. Or maybe it's just the way that I tweaked it that I don't hear it in the beat. But I could definitely hear something like that in the score. So that's another way that this could be used. like that see it's, it's some it's some great sounds in here i don't want to keep um you know going through and tweaking every one just to see what i could do with it but i just want to show you all like the interface of it it's pretty cool you know you could just push all if you don't even know how to use this stuff just tweak stuff until you figure it out <laughs> like that's how i learned how to really mess with a lot of things like just tweaking just having fun pushing stuff sliding stuff turning things all the way up turn it all the way down see what it does just learning that way and um yeah so that's what i would spend a lot of time doing with this if it was something that i liked or something around the range that i like like something like okay this kind of fits but let me tweak it and see what i can turn it into i'll do something like that but i'm gonna go through some of these presets real quick <laughs>
right, y'all. So that's pretty much it. I just messed around and made a beat. I wasn't really even planning on making a beat. I just got inspired by that one sound. I'm probably going to work on building this up some, but didn't want to hold y'all up any longer. You guys see what Super 8 is. Like I said, it's dope in my opinion. A lot of great retro sounds that can be used in a lot of different ways, but it still fits today and won't make your stuff sound dated. So anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you are interested in checking out this great um, reactor library, or I don't even know if library is a proper term for it, but if you're interested in getting Super 8, link will be in the description below. Once again, thank you to Mick Benjamins and Native Instruments for allowing me to get my hands on this. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care.